And the music then, do you have to be... Can you, can you kind of pinpoint where, where the music was written, that you were in a certain mood personally, or maybe even just the environment around you? Mm. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Like, because because if you... I mean, uh, Tokyo, for example, I know exactly what was mm. happening there. I was really, really jet-lagged. Okay. Uh, and I uh, couldn't sleep anything and we were working in the studio and it just brought in loads of memories from my journey in, uh, to Tokyo mm -hmm. and that glued the lyrics together, uh, this state of mind. Mm -hmm. uh, so I remember that really well but then again with the lyrics of, of Tokyo is that they're mostly based on a mumble mm. uh, from the vocal demo of the okay. melody where there are no words but there was some something that sounded like bright future and uh, yeah there were those small words that that I managed to fit uh, that I managed to like sure. fit into my connections of of the state of mind and everything so I used that a lot uh, this mumble of no words. And, and you say often the, the music is already written, so, so for Tokyo, was the music already done when you came up with the lyrics? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had already done the blah 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 blah, whatever it says uh, in the demo, and the bass line was there, the soundscape was almost there, it was, it was really there, but <coughs> and just to shape it a bit. Yeah. Because these soundscapes that you talk about, and then that kind of eventually turn into songs, do you discuss as a band beforehand, kind of when you start on the album, well, I like to have this mood or I want to go in this direction? Because no. No. Okay. No. Uh, I think we never, like, no. we never talk about, like, we, we're going to do a song like this with this mood. I think I, 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 we've I, never had. Discussion. No, uh, the only no, the only discussion about like the the full soundscape was when uh, we were looking at loads and loads of demos, mm. and we we're kind of narrowing them down, okay. put uh, putting together a focus point for for the album. We had maybe twenty songs, uh, twenty demos in the in the end before we started to record it. That that were strong candidates. Mm for that soundscape and then we, that went down to 15 and that went further down and further down like sure. like always dropping one on one on one. But so this focal, uh, focal point, did, did it kind of uh, come together naturally in the, in the sense of okay this fits together or did, did you, were you looking for something, a certain sound or a certain... Because some of the uh, songs well, can, can be a bit dark in, the, in, in terms of mu in the music. So we're not. I think. I think we just kind of chose from the amount amount of tracks, like what would make a good unit, like what would make a good album, starting from track one and right. uh, like start from the first track and end at the last track, like what flow could be could be good. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Gulli had an idea of the track listing like quite early when we were starting, like when we were in the final stages of like finishing the recordings and everything. Mm. Uh, I think we had a really strong idea of the track list. And yeah, then we were just choosing in, like swapping out songs that were maybe quite similar, some were mm -hmm. not as good. Yeah, we just chose the best tracks into the album that would make a good unit. So, so, and this this might be a little bit difficult to, to pinpoint, but Gulli, for instance, what does what do these uh, what makes these songs fit together well? What 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 is kind of the if there is one uh, kind of a thread through? It? Uh, I don't know. I think it's just really important if you want to do like a full album, like LP. Mm -hmm. It has to have like some concept, and it has to like makes sense as a like I don't know unit or something. Right. 
Yeah. Uh, so like, it just uh, has to have some like built up, like start at some point and like have like highs and lows and. So, so, and, yeah. and and with and with sport it has like this uh, resolution. It, yeah. Uh, it finishes and opens with. Oh, it, it finishes with something. Uh, something familiar to the first track. Yeah, the, like the last track right. is kind of like an answer to the first track. But it leads you like. to something like this window there, which is open for for something new. Like, right. like we can, yeah, you can go wherever after this after this last track. So this is very interesting because we do live in a world now with uh, Spotify and those kind mm -hmm. of services where you can just click on a song and then so but th th I can imagine that you prefer that people listen to sports from from track one to the end and kind of yeah I think so but I think both of us I, I think we would love to do like two or four track EPs as well but like for sports it's I think for me at least it's like has to be like the whole album. Yeah. But then it was really uh interesting when we were putting it down to the vinyl. Uh we decided to have it on four sides. Uh because that makes it puts the album down to like four mini mini albums and listening to each side uh it's a really good experience as well. We were really surprised yeah. like how well that worked. Mm. So like two tracks, three tracks, three tracks, two tracks. Uh, and yeah, we were really, really happy with that as well. But so now with a bit of separation, like you say, you listen back to those, uh, well, the, those sides, those four sides. Do you discover new things in the, in, in the songs? Or were you, are you so immersed in it? That and think. maybe the lyrics, uh, as you said? Mm -hmm. I think I think we're maybe not there yet. Like discovering new things. Always just uh, I'm just really proud of this mm -hmm. this album. Uh, it sounds really good to my ears, and I'm happy with the <coughs> with the songs and the outcome of of the album. I think. Uh, I think it's an album that, yeah, I mean, what, why we started to make music together was that we wanted to make music that we like to listen to. We wanted sure. to make, uh, you want to fill in the gap of the music that, that we wanted to listen to. And that is what I feel about sports. It's, it's ex exactly the album that I want to listen to. So in that sense, because you say that this this is kind of filling a gap for the, in music that you like to hear. Mm. So now that people are responding well, and then well, obviously sports uh, has been out yet, but your previous album was well received. So so now that people are paying attention, and then what what does that feel like? What is that like? Because you say you kind of make it make it for yourself, and now people can can find things in it as well. I'm happy, Ali. <laughs> Man, uh, we we like to play concerts because we like to share mm -hmm. share our little world with with the people, mm -hmm. and I think it's just amazing that that people like to take part in yeah like to take part in it, and it's just a bonus. Okay. It's a really good bonus that people people are into it. Well, so finally then, because uh, well, you, you've been described as a, as a very good live band uh, by a lot of publications. So, how do you experience playing live? Is is it very communal thing? Does it matter? Well, it's gonna sound weird, but does it matter that the fans are there in a way? I, I think we just want to make a good show that's like the most important for us yeah. like make it sound good and yeah make make it sound good is is number one and like give just everything that we have yeah. and uh yeah. but i think the 
the biggest impact of a if of a good show is that uh, is that if I don't have to worry about any of the other band members because I just feel that they're in a good shape that they're doing like if I I don't I think I barely look at Gulli when during during live shows because I just feel his uh, presence so so strongly when we are when we are doing a good show and the same with Ali and just I know that they are are there and that gives uh, the audience I think a really good a good vibe mm. that when we are secure on the stage the band no the audience gives the band something extra so we go even further and that lifts the audience even better so yeah I mean well so very last question because I find that interesting is this something that kind of was naturally there because you've been playing a, a, a long time together or did, did you have to work like Alex like said in the beginning was it work like lyrics did, did you have to become comfortable on stage uh, definitely had to work out a bit when we did the transition from okay. just being turning knobs and uh, standing behind the table or keyboard stands and all of a sudden standing with a microphone in, in a hand and Gulli just with a guitar mm -hmm. uh, it was a big it was a big change sure. uh, it came really naturally though it was yeah was we had to get used to it though like yeah it took some time but yeah took took, took shows and from being like absolutely wild the whole show yeah. and then growing up <coughs> a bit and getting a bit bit more confident just in standing where you were standing uh, just all part of part of this journey like playing growing up getting older sure uh, yeah well I have one more question I kind of have to mention it because sports obviously is, is the album title yeah. but there's also a track um, so is that sp uh, track does it have a special importance Um, it just, I think it just mirrors the album quite well. Uh, yeah, it just felt right to use that as a as a title for for the album. I think. Yeah, and it sounds good. Yeah, it sounds sounds good. Uh, the theme around sports are great, mm. and. There's something about this this track that yeah the tr this track is kind of the the start gun uh, for the album yeah. uh, just this there and yeah I think it's just that that is the biggest importance of of that track okay. I think yeah probably <laughs> okay. Guys, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.